Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now using the link down in the description, deposit $100, and receive two free stocks valued up to $1,400. It's, it's pretty much free money, y'all. I ain't playing. I did it, and I got two free stocks. So if you want to get two free stocks, use the link down in the description. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, today I got a banger for you. This one took me by surprise. Today we're gonna look at three different power companies that I would recommend to anybody. Another one, another YouTube popularity stock, VOO. And I own VOO, I recommend VOO, I love VOO. But is it the best growth dividend stock? Today, we're gonna find out. But make sure you stick to the end so that you can see which stock comes out on the top. It might actually catch you by surprise. But enough talking, let's dive straight into the video. And we're back YouTube. Before we dive in, remember to hit that thumbs up button. All it takes is just a half second out of your day just to Hit that thumbs up button kind of looks like this it helps out this channel tremendously more than you can even imagine just hitting a thumbs up button really helps out this channel a lot but let's go ahead and dive into these etfs so the etfs that we're looking at today the power ones i'm talking about the highly recommended the growth etfs um voo vanguard s p 500 etf we're gonna look at qqq investco and then we're gonna look at VTI Vanguard Total Stock Market ETFs. Now, I've been talking about VOO for a very long time and I actually hold it in my stock portfolio. So I wanna do this comparison to these other power companies to see if this is the best stock I should own in my portfolio for growth. If we're taking a look at VOO, the S&P 500 ETF, it is at $308.34. It has increased its dividend yield over the last nine years. It pays quarterly and has a dividend yield of 1.74%. For each share that you own, you will receive $1.43. Now it's not the highest dividend yield ETF out there, but where it makes up for a low dividend is where VOO grows over time every single year and it rarely takes a dip. The next one we're gonna look at is QQQ Invesco. It is at $270.31. It has 13 years worth of growth. It pays out quarterly. It has a dividend yield of 0.60%, so less than 1%. And then it pays out 42 cents per share for every share that you own. So once again, you're not gonna make a lot from your dividends, but where you make up for it is when this company grow over time. And the last one that we're gonna look at is VTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. Now VTI, it holds pretty much every single stock inside of the stock market, around 5,000 different stocks. So when it says total stock market, it means the total stock market, okay? This one is at $170.27. and It increases dividend yield over the last 10 years. Uh, it pays out quarterly as well and it has a dividend yield of 1.71%. So this one has the second highest dividend yield and it pays out 69 cents per share for every share that you own of VTI. Now let's dig in a little deeper on these three stocks and look at their holdings. Now Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, tickle symbol VOO, it is very heavy in technology and healthcare. It owns 23.91% in technology and 14.71% in healthcare. If we look at the top 10 holdings, they own Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google A, Google C, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway, Class B, Visa, and PG. Now, these top 10 of their holdings make up 26% of their portfolio. Just these 10 um, top 10 holdings. When they hold over 516 different companies inside of their portfolio. So these 10 represents 26% and they hold over 516 different um, companies inside of their portfolio. So they got some heavy hitters within their top 10. They're very big on technology and healthcare financials and then communications that is voo let's take a look at qqq okay now we're looking at qqq now you see the difference in the pie chart this is voo 
This is QQQ. They are very, very heavy in the technology. 43.83% in technology, 20.25% in communications, and then the rest are right here. All right, so the pie graph look a lot different in technology. They have Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google A, Google C, Tesla, Nvidia, PayPal, and Netflix. So their top 10, uh, they have about six different ones in their top 10, but they do have some bangers inside of that top 10 as well. But take a look at this. These top 10 make up 54% of their portfolio, just these top 10 holdings alone, and they hold over 104 shares. So Vanguard SP 500 holds 516 shares. QQQ only holds 104 shares. Let's see how this plays out in the end. The last one that we're gonna look at is VTI. Let's take a look at their holdings. Now theirs is almost similar to Vanguard S&P 500 VOO. Let's take a look at their pie chart. That one, and then that one. So it's almost similar. So technology, 23.32%, and then healthcare, 15.04%. But we take a look at their top 10 holdings, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Google, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway, Visa, and PG. This represents 22% of their portfolio, and they hold over 3,534 shares. So QQQ have around 100 stocks. Vanguard VOO has around 500 stocks. And then VTI, the total, the total stock market holds around 3,534 stocks at the moment. So these are the companies that we are about to compare apples to apples right quick. So now we're going to dive over to our back test portfolio. What we're going to do, we're going to test year from 2010 to 2020, the last 10 years. And let's say we invested $10,000 in 2010 and let it grow all the way to 2020 and our cash flow is going to be none all that we're going to do is just reinvest our dividends right here reinvest dividends yes and then we're gonna put right here v o o then we're gonna use q q q and then for portfolio three we're gonna use v t i all right so 100% to VOO, portfolio two is 100% to QQQ and 100% to VTI. Now, let's name these portfolios right quick. VOO, portfolio two is QQQ, and then portfolio three is VTI. Now, when we hit analyze portfolio, this is us investing $10,000 back in 2010. We're gonna reinvest our dividends and let these three companies grow all the way into 2020 and see how did they perform. Here we go, guys. Analyze portfolio, and let's scroll on down. Ooh, wee, there it goes. All right, so VOO comes in. If you invested $10,000, you'll have $31,595. QQQ, you'll have a whopping $53 thousand dollars almost fifty four thousand dollars guys so i own voo i always recommended voo but just looking at this setup right here and this setup alone just look at this graph right here guys qqq destroyed the absolutely destroyed voo and we look at vti which has over three thousand five hundred different stocks they come in at thirty thousand six hundred and forty nine dollars so they did good each company made money but Man, QQQ just absolutely destroyed it. VOO coming in second and VTI coming in third. The worst year VOO had was down 4.5%. The worst year QQQ had was down 0.1%. And the worst year that VTI had was down 5%. The best year VOO had was up 32%. The best year QQQ had was up 38%. And the best year VTI had was 33%. So VTI ended up having a better year than VOO one of these years. Okay, guys, let's scroll on down to the portfolio income. If we take a look at 2019, if we invested $10,000 into the stock market in 2010, VOO will be bringing in $574 worth of dividends. QQQ will be bringing in $318 worth of dividends and VTI you'll be bringing in $527 worth of dividends. So yes, you'll be bringing in more dividends with VOO and VTI, but 
if you kept investing into QQQ over the last 10 years, then you could literally just sell all $53,000 worth of QQQ, buy VOO, and you'll get more dividends that way than just investing straight into VOO. So right now it's not looking too good into VOO because I know what you guys are saying, what if you're buying a dip? What if you're buying a dip? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this again by investing into these companies every single month. So let's scroll up. Once again, we're gonna go from 2010 to 2020. In 2010, let's say I only had about a thousand dollars back in 2010, that's all I had to me. And cash flow, we're gonna change that to contribute fixed amount now everyone knows this if you're subscribed to this channel you will know that i invest 200 dollars every single week into the stock market so that's 800 dollars a month so we're going to put 800 dollars right here um monthly not quarterly not annually but monthly right there 800 dollars a month one thousand dollars in 2010 800 dollars a month here we go nothing should change no rebalance display income yes 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 okay so when i hit analyze portfolio this is us investing one thousand dollars back in 2010 into each one of these companies and then reinvesting two hundred dollars every single week back into that company so let's hit analyze portfolio hey I told you it was gonna be a banger. I told hey, if you stuck this far into the video, take a look at this. Just by investing $200 a week into these companies. Now with VOO, you will have $1,889,000. QQQ, you'll have $285,000, almost $100,000 more than VOO. And then VTI, you'll have $185,000. So you will have over $100,000 more if you invest into QQQ other than VTI. If we look right here, even taking that dip right there after the pandemic, they're back up and right on track. But yeah, invest into VLO for the dividends if you want to, but you'll end up $100,000 short rather than investing into QQQ. That is insane, guys. That's how much technology is playing into this remember qqq has a very big technology sector right here and that's one of the reasons they're outperforming voo because they have so much technology inside of their portfolio so if we're just looking at this chart right here qqq straight up destroyed each of these etfs by a landslide it wasn't even close a hundred thousand dollars a hundred that's six figures that's not even close Ooh, if you stuck this far into the video, I told you guys that it was going to be a banger. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other videos just like this. Now, we're here in my Robinhood account where I do own VOO. I am up 14% just from holding this company. Just imagine if I would have bought QQQ instead, I'll probably be up 28% double what I have right now. I own one share of VOO. Now, if we look at my dividend payments from VOO since I owned them, I got $1.39, $2.60, $2.86, $2.34, $2 and $1.45. So what I'm going to do with VOO, I'm probably going to sell it because I see technology being the new wave in the future and it playing a major role in our society. And I'm going to buy QQQ. So when the market opens tomorrow, I'm probably going to sell I'm going to sell my market value, which is $311.35 worth of VOO, and then I'm going to buy QQQ with it. Yes, I'll make less dividends with it, but I, in the long run, I'll end up making more money with the QQQ growth stock. And I still will be receiving some dividends from QQQ. So now, so it goes to show that even though everyone talks about VOO, it, it, it's not the best. It's a great stock. Don't get me wrong. VOO is amazing. It's a great stock, but it's is not the best right now qqq is so since you're at the end of the video tell me down in the comment section what would you do would you keep voo should i keep voo or should i sell it and get qqq do you own these in your portfolio let me know down in the comment section and while you're down there make sure that you hit that thumbs up button i'm telling you guys you guys don't know how much that really helps out this channel just by hitting that one button and while you're down there hitting buttons make sure that you subscribe to this channel but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace by the way the subscribe button is probably right here so go ahead and hit that subscribe button <laughs> i'm out thank you guys